In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at more advanced drill drawing techniques. The first thing we're going to do is once we've set up all our players and the one coach on the ice is we're going to add another green coach down in this area down to use him to use his timing points uh, as we draw the drill uh, and we'll show you how we use that later on. So again, once we have our players and pucks in position, we go to action mode. And in this drill, we're going to show you how to use indirect passing or dumping the puck and using the boards uh, in a drill where you make indirect passes to players. And this time we're going to show you how to make a rim pass. So first of all, we touch number one. He's close enough to the puck so the take sign is available. We take the puck and now we're going to rim the puck around the boards to number four who's standing in front of the net. So we first of all hit the dump. Uh, sign and then we're going to put the puck along the wall. So you first touch the ice surface uh, where you want the, the first puck to contact the wall and then you just keep advancing the X along the wall until you get to the point where the player can actually pick up the pass. So once I'm happy with the positioning of the puck I hit the X and that freezes the puck in that position. Now number four is going to go pick up that puck so we'll just do that one more time to show you how that works. So we're going to dump it. It's going to hit the wall here, come around, come around, come around to the wall, to here, and now it's in position. Now we want number four to come and get it. So we'll advance him about one second to give the time, the puck, uh, the puck time to get around the wall. And we will now move him down. And as he's close to the puck, the take sign lights up. We can take it and then we're going to skate to the corner and we're going to bank a pass now up to defenseman number one on the blue line. So to do this, again, we use the dump button. We touch the wall or close to the wall where we want the first contact with the puck to make and then bank it on the angle up to the player up here. So it's close enough for that player to take. And then after making this pass, this number four forward is going to skate to the front of the net and set up a screen for the defenseman. And again, to make it look realistic, if you talk uh, below, take a look below, we're going to slow his timeline down from 20 kilometers an hour to about 12, uh, just to make it look more realistic. And now, number one, we want him to take the puck. So if we press take, you can see that it's too early, that up here they want us to put that timeline back. So if I go back to undo, I have to first of all highlight one, I have to put two timing points in there and I'm going to move that along and you can see the player making the bank pass there below and there to about three seconds and then now we'll try to take it and as you can see it's still at 3.7 but now because we created that timing space below we can slide the timing uh, button to the correct 3.7 seconds and now we can take it so once we take it now we're in position to pass it, shoot it, or dump it. So in this one, we're going to have the coach back up and take a pass and make a pass to number one for a one-timer. So in this case, number one, the, the coach will slide his timing line along to here where you can see that the pass is going to go by him at about three seconds. So we can move him at three seconds. Three seconds, he's just going to go backwards and we're just going to have him back to the ball to face the, the, the defenseman with the puck up on the blue line. And then we'll just slow him down a little bit. And now the defenseman can hold it for a timing. We'll, we'll put two timing points in here. And you can see the coach just gets to position right there at 3.6. So now we can pass it to the coach. And now after the pass to the coach, number one is going to skate forward along the, the blue line. And again, we'll slow him down from 20 to about 15 kilometers an hour. He's going to pivot backwards right here. And at that point, we want the coach to make a pass for a one-time shot. So we highlight the coach. We put in two timing points because he must hold on to the puck until the defenseman number one gets into position. We slide his timeline across till he right to about here. And then we can pass the puck to number one. And once we've got the puck in position, we shoot it. We, we press shoot, we press the net where it's going to, and now we have to choose shot selection. Because we want a slap shot one-timer, 
We go down to number one's timeline and we press the last point, which is the shooting point. And you can see when we touch that, that the shot options come up. Wrist shot, snap shot, slap shot, or backhand shot. In this particular case, we're gonna choose slap shot because we want a one-timer. And then we go back to number one and to continue the action, we'll have him skate backwards a little bit, in a, slow him down a little bit so it looks natural. And then he's gonna pivot forwards at full speed and then head end down to the corner. Now, let's check the play and put in a viewer and we'll see what that looks like to see how our timing looks like. So, we have to, first of all, the rim puck. We have the bank pass to the D. He holds it for a second, gets into position, the pass and the one-time shot. And now the player is gonna come back down and skate back down the corner to continue the drill. In the second part of this drill, we now go back to action mode and at this point, we want number two defenseman to dump a puck into the corner for defenseman number one. So we highlight number two, we take the puck, and now because he's going to be waiting with it, again, we use our timing points. We put one, two timing points for number two, and then we can slide that last uh, timing point to see all the action as it's going on. So we can get to choose as we slide it, we can see the time moving and the players moving. And right when, about 10.5 seconds, when the, that defenseman's heading towards the corner, we want now defenseman number two to dump the puck to the corner. So he's gonna dump the puck into the corner here, off of the boards, waiting for defenseman number one. Now, number one will continue along his skating route, pick the puck up, and he'll probably slow down a little bit till about 17 kilometers an hour. Take the puck, and now he's in a position to make the play. Now we go back to forward number four, who's been waiting patiently in front of the net, and we have to put in two timing points for him, as you'll see, two timing points where he's standing and waiting. And again, whenever you have a player move and then have to stand and wait, or take a pass and wait, you must use the timing points and you put in two timing points and slide it, and at that point the shot is there, it's gone past him, and now we can move player number four. So from here, He's going to move across the other side, down to his, towards the corner. We'll slow him down a little bit to about 12 kilometers an hour. We'll have him pivot backwards and wait for the pass from number one. Now, again, when he's waiting, we have to create the time on his timeline where he's standing still waiting. So again, we go up, we hit two timing points, we slide the last one along, and right about to right about there. And at that point, he's ready to take the pass for number one. So number one, this time he's gonna use, again, a bank pass, where we use the dump key, we touch the ice surface near the wall, and then, the again, the X close to the player so he can take it. And if our timing is correct, we should be able to take that puck. So we touch number four, you can see the, takes, the take key light up, we take it, but it has to slide it to 15. So we're a little bit early, so we'll slide him to 15 seconds. And now he should be able to take it. Now he can take the puck. So at this point, he can take it, and then he's going to uh, skate forwards, uh, take it and pivot and skate forwards up the wall. And player number five is now going to come down the wall to, for the, back, for the uh, backwards pass. So again, number five, we go down to his timing line, we slide it across, watch all the action until it's the perfect time for him to leave, which would be right about there. And now he's going to come around the bottom sign here. Number four, we'll have him make an indirect pass or a space area pass. Again, this is where you use the dump feature. So you press dump. I'm going to put the pass right back here in the number five skating area. So number five should be able to skate into that puck and take it and then come around the bottom here as number four comes around the top. And the defenseman number one, of course, is going to come after the pass to the front of the net. We'll slow him down a little bit just to get the timing correct to about 12. He's gonna make a little pivot here to face number four and five. And now we have a two-on-one situation. To complete the drill, we'll now have to have an action between forward number five and forward number four as they go two on one on defenseman number one. So from this point, we're gonna have number five pass it out to forward number four who's gonna come in and he's gonna make a shot. 
So we'll have him shoot from here. We touch the net, he's going to score a goal, but again, we now have to choose his shot. Because it's a right-hander coming across this side, we're going to choose a backhand shot. So this will look more natural as the player comes across the front of the net. And he will continue after a shot down to the, down to the net, stop, and then wait. Number five is going to come in after the shot looking for a rebound, and number one will just go back and stop in front of that in the backwards position. So let's take a look and see what that looks like in viewer mode. So we'll switch down to this position right here. And again, we'll start the drill. It's banked up. It's a pass. It's a one-time shot. Okay. Then the defenseman down to the corner for the chip down the bank pass. He's going to bank that across to the forward. He's going to come up the wall. Forward five goes down the wall. They're going to go in two on one on the defenseman. He comes in, makes a backhand shot, and they stop at the net. So that looks fine. Now, we have to learn how to move players up in line. As number five leaves, number six will want to move up in line. Again, to do that, we slide his timeline along to the point where we see number five leaving. At that point, we can move at 17.4 seconds, we can move number six up in line. And remember, to make it look natural, you must slide his timing point from 20 kilometers an hour down to about seven, six, seven, eight kilometers an hour to make it look natural because he's only moving about two meters. With number seven, we have to do exactly the same. We're gonna slide his timeline along to the point where number six leaves. And when number six starts to move at 18.2 seconds, we can move number seven up in line. And again, once we move him, we slow him down. And that's how you effectively move people up in line. In the last part of this drill, we first move number five. In here, we'll give him two timing points to stop at the net for approximately half a second. And then he'll move across behind the net out to the starting position at the first post. Number four, we'll give him two timing points to have him stop in his position and then he'll move back out and line up out at the blue line like this. And again, we'll slow him down to about 17 kilometers an hour to make it look more realistic. And number five, of course, he's gonna slow him down a little bit. He's gonna be in the front of the net. Two timing positions to have him pause in the front of the net until everybody starts to move. And then we'll have him also turn and skate back up to the blue line to line up back at the blue. Again, slowing him down to about 17 kilometers an hour. And now we're ready to start the next part of the drill. So number two, after his rim, we can have him take a puck. We hit two timing points to the point where we want to get ready again to play. So you can see, like I can use the timing points to create that time that he's waiting with the puck until number five is in a position. About here, he's going to be able to make that rim pass. The coach, of course, he's going to have to move off of the wall to his original position, so we're going to use timing, timing from here. The play is out of the way, and from here, we'll have him move back out to the wall to his original position and slow him down a little bit. And then now, he's in a position to make the play. So again, number two, we're going to have him dump the puck around. The puck comes around the wall in here. And Number five is now ready to go and start the drill again.